Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. I just recently watched one of your TikToks, I don't know, it was probably less than a week ago. You're cranking them out, first of all. You're like, how many how many posts, TikToks, Instagram are you putting out per week, let's say? Yeah, 21? A week. I, I try to do, for the fall, I try to do three a day. Okay, so uh, about 21 and- yeah, it's about 21. In the new year, I take took a step back and now I'm probably doing about, um, you know, six to 10 a week. Okay. So, um, so that's about where I'm at and it's fun. I find life in it. Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, people are like longing for it. What? Only one a day, right? I know. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, we'll supplement it with a little Missions Pulse podcast here and there. Um, That's right. But but I, I was watching this one. You were talking about the the primacy of of being with Jesus. So you're talking about fulfilling the Great Commission and your destiny, and you know. Um, but we know that Jesus commands us to in Matthew 28, go make disciples of all nations. That is the Great Commission, the grand epic, right? That we will see culminated in Revelation seven nine. All the peoples of the nations standing around the throne. Um, yep. is there, is there a danger for Christians to be involved in the work of God, uh, but not to prioritize their relationship with him? 100%. And yeah, I mean, I believe it was Mark 13 that I referenced is when Jesus calls the apostles to himself and he says that he appointed them first to be with him. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then he could send them out. So that's the priority. And I always reference uh, 2 Corinthians 11 as well, where Paul urges them and says, I'm afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, that you you would be led astray by the simplicity and purity of devotion to Christ. So we can get so caught up in the work and the busyness and the things and even doing stuff to please him. But Paul is saying there is a simplicity and purity of just devotion to Christ. And then... Revelation 2, Jesus warns the church where he says, hey, I know your deeds. I know your toil. I know your perseverance. And I know that you've even called to test those who call themselves apostles. You know, you're great at calling out false prophets, you know, false teachers. As the like, people are so into that. But he says, I have this against you. You've left your first love. Mm, wow. So repent and do what you did at first or else I'm actually going to remove the lampstand from you. And that's just so challenging to me because I, you know, my social following increase, I'm doing all these, I'm doing three videos a day. I'm doing other ministry outside and all this stuff is great. And I feel the Holy Spirit's presence, but then I'm like, well, yeah, but remember when I first came to the Lord and I would just spend two hours with him, you know, just gazing on his face, just spending time in his word, just because I love to be with him. Yeah. Not because I loved to be used by him. There's nothing wrong with being used by him. You know, he wants to do that. But have I replaced that with the first love of just being with him? And I think that that is a challenge to everyone because, I mean, John 17, 3, Jesus says eternal life is found in knowing the Father and knowing him. And eternal life is not just like, okay, once we get to the end of our life, do we enter heaven or do we not? No, it's wrapped up in knowing God. <laughs> and if and you're talking about well, eternal life, you, you must be speaking of the present moment as well. Beginning yeah, now and through eternity. Now. Yeah. And then it continues on. Yes. Yeah. So, and, and I mean, the, the famous verse then that everybody talks about is the people who say to Jesus, you know, did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not do all this? And Jesus' words will be, depart from you. I never, depart from me. I never knew you. Yeah. Wow. And I think that's kind of the key is knowing him. The Pharisees did all of the right works without knowing him. So that I think it's very paramount right now uh, in this day and age, because I actually am seeing a lot of Gen Zers who are getting very passionate about the gospel. And then people in my age and millennials who maybe have now established ministries are starting to go after it. And I believe the challenge from the Holy Spirit say, hey, don't leave the first love. <laughs> Remember who brought you here. It was that intimate relationship with Jesus. That's the number one priority. And that's what's going to matter at the end of the age. Uh, he's going to look at how well I loved, not necessarily how many people got saved through my ministry. <laughs> yeah. And all of you who are watching right now and uh, you're guilty of this, 
Raise your hand. If you're in a coffee shop, raise it slightly, not too high. Don't make a scene. Oh, well, make a scene. I don't know. Um, but man, this is so easy to get in a rut of. I mean, I'm doing professional ministry right now for 24 right. years. Um, and uh, it's easy to lose that first love. Uh, he'd rather us be hot or cold, not lukewarm. I spit you out of my mouth. And um, yeah. you know, it's crazy. I was just, I was woke up the other day and uh, Petra, whoop, reference, sorry, Gen Z, you never heard of them. Um, <laughs> a Petra song popped into my mind, First Love. You remember that song? You know that song? Yep, yep. First Love. I won't, that's all I'm going. Um, <laughs> but um, it popped into my mind, and this is exactly what you're talking about. You know, it, it's so easy to become so uh, infused and inundated with doing stuff for God, all of which may be good. But, um, we talk a lot about him, but remember those days, like you mentioned, we used to talk to him and with him right. and spend time together. Right. Um, I think this is a challenge um, far beyond Gen Z, millennials, oh, ex totally. Gen Xers and boomers. I mean, this is every demographic and every people uh, around the world. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.